be in the you know same conversation i mean that's you know that's pretty it's pretty cool um you know and then they gave me a start that was actually a surprise that he, he never that he's never done so um but no it was just a great night and uh had it gone uh, you know i mentioned a few times a lot of uh you know teammates are extremely unselfish and you know they just kept giving me the ball and uh I just finished it. John, was there you looked up and you were like, okay, I can actually get 70? Like, did you ever think about it during the game? Um, I mean, it, it was hard to say because I, I obviously I came out hot. I had 24 in the, in the first, and then in the second I was kind of messing around, and, um, and then I had over 30 by half, and then um, I had a pretty good start to the – to the third quarter, and um, I mean, it was also depending on the game. Uh, at that point, I had 59, and the game was still pretty close. Um, so, you know, I you know, uh, felt like I needed to go back, and then once I got back, I was like, yeah, there's my chance. So, you know, might as well go and do it. What were those six minutes like in the fourth quarter? In the fourth quarter? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it was... Uh, the only thing I told my teammates was, uh, please, just don't force it. Um, you know, just, you know, let's just play basketball. Uh, if I'm open, pass it. If I'm not, um, you know, make sure you make the right play. Uh, it's unfortunate Daniel has got booed for it. Uh, <laughs> you know, but, <laughs> you know, we were just trying to play uh, the right way and, you know, make the right plays. And um, But I, I think... You know, obviously I made shots and uh, they found me a lot. Um, so yeah. To follow up on that on those six minutes, the crowd was very much into it at that time too. They could sense that you were getting close. What was that like for you, taking that in, accomplishing that record with that energy in the building? Uh, I was really just trying to close the game. Like I said at that time, the game was still pretty close. You know, we were only up like 11 or 12 or something like that around that at that time. Um, so, you know, the, you know, it was just about making sure you make shots and, uh, you know, and, you know, because I felt like, you know, once if I if I did focus too much on it, um, I don't know, I could have missed, you know, shots or I could have been, you know, turning it over and trying to force it. Uh, so I was just focused on, you know, just closing the game up. On the other side, how was the first matchup with Bambanyama? Oh, uh, he's great, man. He's, I mean, he's got everything. Um, you know, size, skill, um, man, got everything. Uh, yeah, there's nothing else to say. Uh, by future, he's already pretty good, but, you know, once it develop, develops and, you know, his body also, you know, catches on, uh, he's going to be a lot of problems for a lot of guys in this league. Um, but, no, I mean, he's, he's extremely talented. They're just talking about how... performance inspiring a few minutes ago, just to, to know that he and other guys that are coming up are inspired by you and what you're doing, I guess, what, is, what does that mean to you? Uh, what you mean? Uh, uh, when we called your, in his postgame, yeah. he said that your performance was inspiring for him to, to witness that and to be part of that, I guess, to know that you're having that impact on the guys coming up. What is what that? Mean? It's great uh, because, um, man, I, I, even though I started playing late, you know, from the time I started playing, Kobe was my guy. Uh, he's the reason why I started playing uh, basketball. And it's funny because on the same night he had 81, and you know, um, you know that was my favorite player. So, you no, know, when I started, I was the guys that I was looking, you know, I was looking up to, and you know, they they were doing all this. So, you know, if he says it's inspiring, I hope, you know, in a couple of years, uh, hopefully when I'm, I don't have to guard him and I'm out of the league, <laughs> he, he's able to do the same thing and you know go out and break all these records and possibly break uh, Wilt's record of 100 points. Did he inspire you? You know, you have, a, you have a knack for coming up with big games and big moments, and the eyes of the league were sort of on you and him tonight. No, I, I, I wouldn't say that because uh, just like I mentioned the other night against Denver, uh, it's not like I just woke up one day and I was like, okay, I got to try to go out and dominate and have the best game of my career. Um, you know, I try to do it every single night on both ends of the floor. Um, you know, that's where the mindset, just trying to go out and, 
dominate. Uh, so yeah, there's you know, I'm I'm really just you know pushing myself and challenging myself every single night. Uh, you know, what else can I do? What else can I add to my game? Uh, you know, can I try something new uh, to see if it works or if it doesn't? So, yeah, I'm just really challenging myself. What did you say like prep round uh, after the game? Was it a little more special for you to do it in front of him? Because, I mean, you know, your relationship. I'm glad I did it in front of him. Um, <laughs> no, nah, but, you know, obviously I started with them. You know, first coach um, stopped me a lot. Um, not just on the basketball side, you know, off the court too, you know, just, you know, you know, maturing um, is a big part of it. Uh, so, I mean, it's always good to see him, um, especially on the sideline. Um, he, he's done he's done a lot uh, for not just for me, but for the whole city of Philadelphia too. Um, you know, when you think about everything not happening, the losing seasons and, you know, to still come out on top and, you know, have the success that he had, um, you know, that that's pretty cool. Um, but, you know, it's always good, you know, to see him. And, uh, but I'm kind of glad I did it in front of him so he can kind of see the product of, you know, what he created. So what does it feel like? We watch a ton of tapes. I know you've seen them before the tape, but... How long does it take you to get used to the actual length and the actual size when you start playing against them? Um, I mean, uh, when I do watch the games, uh, I, I usually imagine myself, you know, just playing against them, uh, especially because I haven't played. Uh, if I haven't played against some guys, um, and uh, you know, I thought obviously the length is extremely tall, but um, I, I wouldn't say it's easy. But you know, I think I, I I have a pretty good sense of how to attack. You know, some guys um, depending on you know how they guard and if they're tall or if they're strong and and all that. Then um, you know, I thought you know I just. And I just made a few shots tonight, and uh, but he's extremely long. I, I walked past him, and I was like, I thought I was tall, and you know <laughs> the dude was just towering over me. So, I mean, but you no, know, like you know, we talked about it the other the other day. Uh, I don't know what he is. Um, I just know that you know he's an amazing basketball player, and he has a bright future, and he can. You know, he's a, he's a future. He, he can do everything on the basketball floor. He was talking about how he, when he was watching and contest you, and it was one of the first times he's seen somebody your size or bigger guarding you. And, like, watching you, it seemed like you were maybe probing a little longer than normal on those mid-range jumpers. Like, did it take a minute to sort of adjust to no. that kind of length on you? No, I thought, you know, from the beginning, I had a few as a pool jumpers. Um, the, the the advice was really on me. I don't know what I was doing, honestly. Half of the time, uh, instead of just shooting the ball, I was just, you know, taking my time and, you know, wasting time when I could have just caught the ball and shot it. Um, so I think that was more about me than, you know, than his life. Uh But, you know, I have a pretty good sense on, how to use the hezzy pull to make sure that, you know, whenever I shoot it, I either catch whoever is guarding me flat-footed so they don't have a chance to recover or I just can't go, you know, by them. What do you feel like for you tonight? Like when you're on the court, did it feel like a different night when you're on the heat here like this? No. Um, I, to be honest, um, no, it didn't because I, I felt like, you know, when you take 40 shots, uh, obviously you are you're supposed to have a big night. And I felt like I was actually mad at myself because I missed a lot of, you know, easy shots that I've been making all season, a lot of easy pull, um, a lot of, you know, pocket pass jumper that I missed. Uh, I had a bunch of layups that I tipped in, so that kind of, you know, added to the amount of shots that I took. Uh, so, yeah, so I was kind of just, I was actually mad about, you know, the easy ones that I was, you know, missing at the time, but... Um, yeah, but when you're shooting, you know, that many shots, which I never thought I would be taking as many shots in my life, um, you know, you obviously got, you're going to make some and you're going to have a big night. Well, tonight marks six wins in a row for you guys, and you have six players out, hurt or sick. Um, when you look at what this team has done over the last couple of weeks, how, how special do you think it can be once you're at full force? Um, I mean, it, it, I mean, we got obviously the keys to stay healthy, um, but you know, doesn't stop. You know, next man up mentality, 
um, where the Mild and where the other guys are out. Um, so we just, I mean, we miss them a lot. Uh, you could see, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, when, you know, those guys are out, you can kind of, you can see it a lot. So obviously we need everything we can get. Um, you know, we miss them. Um, but, you know, that doesn't stop us from, you know, wanting to go out and, you know, win the game. Um, but especially, you know, that's, that's the, you know, mindset. Uh, doesn't matter who's playing or not, you got to find ways to win. Well, as you talked about tonight, not just you, but Cat had 60 plus points too. It's first time in years that two players, you know, did that on the same night in the NBA. Um, that was actually surprising. They beat beat me. Uh, I heard he had like 45 at halftime. Uh, so I was hoping that he would beat me, but no, he didn't. Um, but it's great, um, especially because it's a big two. Obviously, he did it in a different way. Um, I had uh, one three, and he had ten of them. Uh, so I mean, that's uh, you know that's amazing as a big. Uh, to be able to make 10 threes. Um, I dream I can do that, but I probably can't. Uh, but, um, you know, did it in different ways, but it, it's good to see bigs, you know, just dominate. Joel, as you've emerged as a perennial MVP candidate, your mid-range game has really taken off, especially this season in particular. What have you changed about your preparation, if anything at all, to allow you to take another leap in the mid-range? Um, I don't know. I, I think... Uh, you know, I'm just taking whatever the defense is giving me. Um, and, you know, I just try to prepare myself. Well, tonight I didn't prepare myself. I didn't warm up. But, uh, you know, but, uh, you know, some, you know, most of the time, you know, I just, like, you know, like you said, I just watch a lot of film. Um, you try to see what, you know, defenses do. Um, and, you know, what I'm mostly proud is, you know, I feel, I feel, you know, I feel like, you know, double teams, um, you know, I've gotten so much better at, you know, just handling them. And whether it's passing on, you know, or just attacking before the double comes. Um, so, but that goes back to, you know, you know, just I think it's mostly just film because in the summertime, I just, you know, I don't, I don't walk out a lot. I just try to, you know, make sure that my body's rested and and uh, and then, you know, towards the beginning of the season, you know, start doing a you know a few stuff. But um, yeah, I think it's all about with you know Drew, my trainer, just watching a ton of film. You know, not just from big guys, but you know MJ, Kobe, and you know all those guys. Thanks, Joel. Joel, uh, yourself and uh, Ben Simmons to, together there combined uh, looking at the stats, uh, 19 rebounds, 13 for yourself, 6 uh, for Ben. So a really dominant display on the boards by the both of you tonight. Um, yeah, I mean, that's what we got to do. He's a big guard. Uh, you know, we need him to crash the boards. Uh, you know, we should be... <clears throat> With our size, we should be the, the best, at least, defensive rebounding team in the league. Uh, you, you know, we got a big guard in there. Uh, you know, we got Tobias. Uh, you know, we got a bunch of guys that have size, and you got me uh, in the middle. So uh, it's good to have him. And uh, like I said, we should dominate every single night. Thank you.